I need to stop drinking coffee. I'm gonna freaking be bouncing off the walls. Hello, mi gente. Happy Sunday. I think this is the first thing I've recorded all day. But we've been cleaning and doing boring things all day. And they say hi to all your friends. I don't care. I have my bully sick. So, like, you could do anything to me right now, and I don't, I don't care. I don't care about anything than a stick. Give it to me. Oh, no. Nah, uh, honey. You don't get possessive. Look at me. Uh uh. Uh uh uh. Sit down. You can play with elephant. Don't you ever look at me like that again. Like, this is yours. I bought this. This is my house. This is my rule. He doesn't understand. So, until you get some bully stick money, then you can snap and take what you want back to your bed. That's not even your bed. I bought that bed. So until you can buy some of your own ish, you aren't running anything. Say sorry. You're such a bitch. But I really want it. Lay down. Roll. Roll. Roll over. This is disgusting. This is a bull's penis. He thinks he has, he thinks he owns stuff. I bought everything in this house. I pay for everything. So until he could pay for something with his little fluffy butt, it's all my stuff. And my parents used to say that to me all the time and I was always like, shut up. But now I get it. Like, be appreciative for what you have because if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't have anything. Oh my God. I sound like a legit adult. And I'm doing legit adult things like putting away Tupperware. Oh, and I'm having black people time right now and I'm watching the BET Awards. And I'm also tasting K-Cups because I just cannot find the right one. Some of them taste really watery because I usually make iced coffee. So I am, I bought more today. <laughs> um, someone told me to get the dark roast whatever kind. So I got this Hawaiian blend and I'm sampling it at 9.45 at night. That's such a good idea. And then the other one I bought was... Oh, I bought this one, Tuli's Coffee, Hawaiian blend, medium, medium roast extra bold. I just think they taste so watered down when I put ice and stuff in them. Well, duh, because ice is water. So I'm trying to find one that's good. Someone said donut shop sucked, and then a million people say it's good, so I don't know. So we're gonna, we're gonna just drink coffee now, because that's a really smart thing to do. I'm not, like, drinking it, I'm just kind of tasting it to see which one is my one which one is the k-cup for me what spoiled butt doing you know you're gonna poop later i have to take it away from him soon because he's gonna freaking he has a sensitive tummy this one is the donut shop one so i'm gonna put my usual amount that's good i'm using all my freaking creamer in this experiment one Splenda. So it has the same amount. This is probably so boring and no one's interested. So the one on this side, because I don't know if it's going to be opposite, is the Hawaiian brand. Brand? Blend! And this is the coffee shop. No. Donut shop coffee? It's a little watery. Yeah. The donut shop one is a little watery. And that sucks because I have 18 of them. I should have bought the Walmart brand because they have the Walmart brand of it. And I should have bought that just to see because that was like $5. And Let's try. He said the, mocha, the coconut mocha and that was kind of light. So maybe whoever said it is right. The coffee shop ones kind of suck. I'm going to have to take like NyQuil or something. I like the taste of it. It's actually not bad. just feel like if I make it over ice, it's going to be watery. Actually, I think I'm judging it too quick. I need to stop drinking coffee. I'm gonna freaking be bouncing off the walls. And I even got this today. I used to have a bunch of these. They're like coffee flavored syrups. So then I don't have to keep buying flavored coffee. I can buy longer coffee and flavor it myself because the flavored one just tastes weaker to me. Right, Bentley? Do you want some coffee, honey? Do you want me to pour you a cup? Okay, so the next one I'm trying in my stupid coffee K cup experiment is this Barney's Kitchen chocolate oh cafe au chocolat i feel like this one sucks it doesn't even taste that chocolatey so i think i'm gonna just have some that are just meant to be 
drinking, drinking pot and some that are good for over ice. Okay, so this one, the Cafe Au Chocolat, tastes like butt over ice, so I'm just gonna take it out. This is gonna be the most annoying vlog ever because it's really like a vlog about nothing. Yeah, it's a medium roast, but not that good over ice, but good hot. So, I'll just leave like, I don't know. I'm never doing stupid tea anymore, so I'll just take the tea out. I'll leave one nighttime tea in here. I spend too much time doing these. Oh, but I have a new crema. Caramel macchiato. Because I ran out of creamer doing my experiment. I'm trying to have black people time watch BT Wars, but I'm not paying attention. So I'm sitting here having a coffee tasting. Ooh, that's good. What is this? This is the chocolate one? Okay, this is the chocolate one, so with the creamer. But I, it just doesn't do well over ice. It's good hot, though. What are you doing, my Bentleys? My bubbles for ebbers and ebbers. Okay, so I think I got it down pat. I just really don't like the Target vanilla bean creme brulee. It's watery, even hot. I mean, not made over ice or whatever. So, four coffee cups later, and a refill to the reservoir later. I think I figured out which ones I like. I'm gonna stick to four over ice. Hawaiian blend, because it's medium and extra bold and donut coffee shop basically anything that's medium roast extra bold i love this one but it's a lice a lice a light roast so i guess you know some trial and error and probably like you know i don't even want to add up the cost of all that trial and error but hey live and learn look at what i got today finally so dramatic benefit yes they're real push-up liner I've been waiting for this for like th two months. I mean like I have a life, like I just marked it down on my file of facts that it was released this weekend. Not this weekend, this week. So I went to Ulta and I bought it. I haven't even opened it yet. We'll play with it later in my room. This is what the tip looks like. It's supposed to give you a perfect cat eye right along your lash lines. I guess this is to protect it or something. I should probably read the instructions. I mean, I know how to put eyeliner on, but this one seems kind of different. If it's anything like the Yes, The Real Mascara, then oh, holy grail. And what else did I get? Oh, I got a NYX eyeliner. Glide, glide on. Slide on, glide on, waterproof, whatever. Just in black. Okay, so excuse my um, super funky bangs and my um, naked face. Fail, fail. I think I need to use my Clarisonic more consistently because I've been pretty lazy with it and my face looks like ish. But I wanna see if this Yes They're Real Push Up Liner is any good. I just dropped on the floor and Bentley probably stole it. Oh, here it is. Okay. So, I can't do it on camera because I don't have the tripod up and everything. So, this is what it looks like. It's supposed to give you a perfect cat eye. And it has an AccuFlex tip. I don't know what that means. It's supposed to hug your lash line for bigger looking eyes in seconds. Okay, let's see if this works. This is what it looks like out of the package. It came with some tips slash directions. I don't need directions. Like, if you don't have to put eyeliner on, paper can't help you. So, I guess it's eye. It's a really dark black, which I like. I love my eyeliner to be super black. And you can see I miss a spot so it's not hugging my lashes. I'll have to try it out tomorrow. It's kind of awkward. It's a gel and you twist the bottom until some of the gel comes out. And then this tip is supposed to help you. I don't know. I'll probably use it but I don't know if I'll ever buy it. But that's only based off of one random application. I don't know. I feel like I was so excited about it and... It's really nothing. I'm going to call it a night because it is very late. It's almost 12 o'clock. Bentleys. Bentleys. <whistles> Bentley bears. Say bye to all your friends. Uh, bye, guys. I'm under the desk. Um, it's, it's cool under here. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Bye.